Hello, this is Rollo from Wonder Rose Arts and Graphics, and today we're going to introduce you to Layouts and Styles for DAS Studio 4.8. To make it easier to follow along with this tutorial, we recommend that you would go to the on the main menu from Window to Workspace, select Layout, and go to City Limits. And once that comes up, go to Window, Style, select Style, and we're going to be using the dark side. Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the different layouts and styles for uh, uh, DAS Studio 4.8. So don't worry if yours looks a little different. Uh, okay, like as we already demonstrated, uh, we're going to be using the main menu bar up here to do the window uh, workspace uh, to find the layouts and use window style to find the styles. Uh, we'll go ahead and go through some of these options down here before we actually get into the different types of layouts. There's some other configuration changes you can make. Uh, if you notice here, besides Select Layout, you have a Save Layout As. You can actually configure the layout the way you want to look and save your own layouts uh, so that you have the tabs available uh, that you like to use more often for your productivity. Uh, if you go down here, you see Enable Activity Bar. We'll click that and you'll show you this. See this advanced tab came up. Uh, some, a lot of times you'll see that and you'll see over here the DAS 3D logo with Home, My Account, and My Gallery. Uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, tutorials, video tutorials, and you'll see these tabs up here, like advanced, and you wonder how did they get up there, and that's that's how it happened. So we'll go ahead and turn that back off. Now, if you notice here, these tabs are uh, vertically oriented on the sides for these two different panels. I'll expand one to show you. And the next option we're going to show you is under the workspace, is orient tabs along the top. So if you click it, you see now that the tabs appear at the top of the uh, panels for the workspace and you notice you, they're not here but as soon as we expand this you can see there are the tabs and they're all on the top so uh, if you like that kind of a layout that's what you can use uh, we're going to turn it back off so they go back to the vertical oriented uh, which is on the side uh, another option you have here under workspace is enable the lesson tool strip which in the layout and style we chose for our default uh, you can see it's already enabled down here on the bottom right corner of the screen. If you want to turn that off to just clear up your workspace a little more, so maybe if you're doing any uh, animations using Animate Light or the timeline, you can do that. And we will go ahead and return that back to its default status. And if you and once you do configure, let's we'll go ahead and show you how to do the uh, how to workspace, how to save a layout. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to open up a pane. There's this tool settings pane. We're going to open it up, and uh, when we first open it, it's uh, it's actually free floating. So what we're going to do, we're going to dock it right here beside script IDE. And there you can go. We got that there. So now we have a viewport on the left. We have tool settings on the right. Now a lot of people like to put it in one of these work panes on the right side of the screen, or you can actually put it uh, dock it on the left side of the screen. It's all up to your own uh, whatever you want to do. But we just put it up here for a demonstration at the top. So now, if we go here to uh, Window, Workspace, Save Our Layout, let's say we've configured multiple panes and tabs the way we want them. You can close panes you don't need if you don't know. Like if, uh, let me go back real quick. Let's say you don't use a Smart Content tab. I can go ahead and close that because I normally use Content Library. Uh, but if you prefer the con Smart Content tab over the Content Library, you could close the other one or you can leave them both open. So here's how we've got ours configured. We're going to go here to Window, Workspace, Save Layout As. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call this layout uh, my working environment. My working environment. We'll just shorten it to M, and then we're going to it. We'll just leave all the actions and it was custom, custom, custom because we made some changes that we want to keep. And we'll click the accept bar. It's going to come up and tell us it was saved successfully, and we can get back to it by going to Windows Workspace, select layout. So now. Uh, just to show you, I want, I want these to go back to the way it was. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here in Window Workspace, select Layout, and we're going to tell it to go to City Limits. So it will take all those away. So here we're back to the default for City Limits. So now we we'll go back here to Windows Workspace, select Layout, and you've, you might have noticed it, but here's my working environment. Uh, it shows up in our tab. So we click it, and we click Accept, and it'll return us. You see the Tool Tab settings came back up up here. You see smart content has gone over here, and so we're back on track with what we like. So I'm going to go ahead and return this back to the city limits, but that demonstrates that you can customize it to your own liking. depends on what your uh, workflow is for your productivity, or maybe for just some fun you're having. 
Okay, now we're going to show you how to select the different types of styles. Uh, you can also see here there are styles that you can save and you can uh, actually let's go back real quick to the uh, layout. Let's say we want to delete that working environment layout that we created. So we go here to delete layouts and here's the two that we did create. We created this tool setting ones earlier and here's the my working environment. So we'll just go ahead and select both of those so we can get them out of uh, get them out of Dash Studio and now they're gone. So if you do create one, you mess it up, and you want to resave it later, you can delete it and then resave it again. Uh, you can do the same thing with styles. You can uh, create custom styles, and you can uh, make them what you like. Um, to, to change your style, you'll just like it, when you go to Window, select a uh, style, select style, and you're going to pick the three different types. Uh, they give you a nice preview here. Here's the dark side on the screen. If we go to light highway, I mean, excuse me, you can see it lines up, shows a little bit different how it's going to look. And you can also go to Main Street, shows you again how it's going to look. Um, so we'll just go ahead and change this. Now, there is one thing I want to show you. Um, if we go up here, let me, uh, let's try this other style here. I think it might be Highway. I'm not positive. Okay, maybe it was one of the layouts I was going to show you then. Let me just try some different layouts. Uh, Self-Service Boulevard, that one. Let's see, Full Service Beta. Yeah, you notice now how there's a whole different menu layout here at the top when we do this full service beta mode. So, uh, that can, may present a problem, may not present a problem, but you can see here that we can only select layouts. You can see there's no styles available up here in this uh, particular layout. So what you'd have to do is uh, we had to go back to one of the layouts. Uh, we like the city limits light, but let's, try, let's just see what the regular self-serve looks like. And you can see here, okay, styles have returned. So, so if you do make some changes to layouts, you may lose your styles. So just, just so you're aware of that, if it disappears on your menu, you just change it back to something else to get to where you need to be, uh, and then you'll get it. Uh, you can see that uh, we did. Oops, we did change the style here. Uh, we're on the highway style. You can see it looks a little different. Each layout and style combination looks a little bit different on the screen. You just kind of have to play around with them and find what you're comfortable with. Uh, some people like to do things uh, more menu driven off of the main menu up here. Uh, a lot of some people like using the icons. So the different uh, combinations of layout and style that give you uh, different things to look at. Uh, and of course, then some people do like to use the uh, the different tabs and uh, different in the working panes on the left and the right side of the screen. So it just all depends on what you like. So this was just a quick introduction to uh, layouts and styles. We hope it showed you enough that you can uh, feel comfortable playing around with it and selecting it any way you like and making it, customizing it to your own needs. Uh, we recommend that until you get comfortable with Dash Studio 4.8 that you just use some default, the default layout and styles of uh, City Limits and Dark Side. Uh, we will tell you real quick that uh, when you uh, initially load Dash Studio 4.8, I believe it starts as a default with City Limits Light. If you use that, you lose a few. There's a few tools and stuff that are, are tabs and stuff that are missing that might make it a little more difficult. You can see here we only have the Smart Content and Content Library in this working panel here. Uh, if we go back to the the full City Limits, you'll see I believe an extra tabs added back in. You can see we have the draw settings is added back in. So it just depends on how advanced your work's going to be um, when you're working in Dash Studio 4.8. Uh, like I said, we like to use the city limits with dark side style. It's all up to your own choice. Uh, once again, we hope this introduction to layouts and styles in Dash Studio 4.8 might be a little helpful. Uh, ease some of your pain and uh, don't be afraid to make changes. You can always recover them by changing back. This is Rolo signing out for Winter Bros. Y'all have a great day.